we're introducing a new feature called this is Mantis of the Past. At the end of January, the Mantis traveled to Kelowna, BC for the 2018 Snowfest swim meet. It was there we ran into Rick Button, alumni Manta parent from the 1980s, and father of Sean and Jennifer Button, two outstanding swimmers from our past. Okay, we're here at, uh, in Kelowna at the uh, 2018 uh, Snowfest, and we had a little bit of a surprise to run in uh, with an alumni parent from our history, uh, Rick Button. Uh, Rick, tell us a little bit more about your background in uh, Fort McMurray. Okay, I moved there uh, after I finished my time in the military. I, I uh, was a military, a dental uh, dentist in the military, sponsored by the military. And in 1980, uh, one of the places I went to look at to set up a practice was Fort McMurray. I ended up moving there with my family and uh, lived there, practiced there for 10 years. Uh, both uh, my wife uh, at the time started to uh, um, instruct swimming at the old, at the downtown pool and uh, pool, yeah. yes centennial pool and uh, then the swim coach at the time Don Wilson who had uh, was just a young guy uh, had come from New Brunswick uh, he asked her to help him coach so she started coaching and then uh, our kids ended up in the swim club and uh, spent nine years there so what was Fort McMurray like back in those days? Pretty small town, but uh, close community? Smaller, yeah. Uh, it was a nicer community, I think, from what I understand, in the sense that people lived there. Uh, you know, it was about 30,000 people there. There were no big camps, and uh, yeah. price of oil had dropped significantly then. Yeah. So uh, I really always liked Fort McMurray. Uh, uh, you know, our kids grew up there. Uh, we had many fond memories from there many great friends from there uh, and yeah and the swim club uh, when uh, we put our kids in in sports uh, you know they my daughter did soccer and ballet and gymnastics and swimming and my son played hockey and and uh, soccer and uh, golf and uh, so it was an active community, yeah. lots of things. Uh, you know, I used to always tell people you know, Fort McMurray in those days, and probably even more so now, I think was as multicultural almost as any place in Canada. People came all of there, all over the world to work there. You know, there were good paying jobs. and uh, uh, Even today, that's very even much today. the case. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, we had a few coaches there, Eugene Giorfi, uh, Don Wilson, I think, would be uh, the one who was the impetus to expand the club from a, a tiny little club to yeah. to the you know the mini powerhouse that became That's there. So fair. him and Randy Bennett. So. Yes, and Randy. So it was your your uh, your children were obviously yeah my daughter them, yeah. yeah well my son was only ever coached by Don Wilson, but uh, Jennifer uh, she was coached by Randy. So, so they swam right through the 10 years uh, they were resident in Fort McMurray? Yes, they did. Yeah. Uh, and so, of course, we, you know, a lot of the uh, members will, will know the name Jennifer Button. So yes. Tell us a little more Je about Jennifer's uh, swimming career. She, uh, she, uh, she swam uh, in Fort McMurray, obviously, and then we moved to Waterloo because uh, they had a, a, a very famous swim club there, the region of Waterloo, uh, Victor Davis and Mike West. and. Um, they uh, both swam there uh, for uh, Dean Bowles, uh, who was also uh, quite a famous coach. Um, and then after they graduated from high school, uh, my daughter went to the University of Toronto and uh, my son went to Ohio State for a semester and then he uh, went to Mac. Uh, so uh, she swam for uh, Byron um, McDonald at the University of Toronto and uh, he swam for a gay Stratton and Hamilton. Uh, so the nice thing is, I, I always tell people this story there, she, she never paid anything to go to university in Toronto. You know, and uh, my son was uh, carded by Swim Canada as well. So, uh, you know, they got some money uh, out of that. And, uh, and then they, uh, she went to the Olympics in Sydney. Uh, set uh, a few Canadian records along the way. Uh, had many uh, uh, life experiences uh, through swimming, both of them. And uh, because they were both kind of at the same level, 
uh, they often travel together. So when they travel the world as brother and sister and as uh, as competitive swimmers. So that was a really well, nice show. The sport can really give to you, right? I mean, it can beyond, for sure. Beyond interest in your secondary, post secondary yeah. schooling, yeah. to uh, you know, having international experience. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, and then they both went, uh, uh, she got a master's in sports administration from the International Olympic Committee and the University of Lausanne, a joint program, and he got his MBA in Barcelona. So they both got degrees and international uh, master's degrees and they you know, had traveled the world together and really worked out very nicely. That's nice, yeah. Jennifer even uh, obviously was uh there to open up our McDonald Island. She was, park. yes, yeah, yes, say, yeah. yeah, she was, uh, and she was elected to the Wood Buffalo uh, Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, the, the Mantis invited her back one year to speak at the banquet there, yeah, so yeah. that was nice. And yeah, uh, sure. uh, so you know, both of them obviously grew up, and uh, we kind of look back as kind of our golden generation. Can you yeah. tell us about some of the other swimmers that were in the club at the time? But the Washkos were uh, swimming then. They were a little older than my children. Mark Versfeld, of course. Uh, both of the Pratt boys uh, swam. Uh, 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 Carol Young, Carol and Dave Young, their kids, uh, I can't remember their names now, but they both swam. The Hayes both had two kids who swam. Uh, and many others there. And, and, yeah, a pretty tight club back Pretty then, tight clubs then, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and of course, a lot of those names still have their names in our record books. I'm sure some of them do, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I know Pratt was uh, yeah. drafted in the NHL. Uh, yeah, played. For Whaler, so yeah. that swimming uh, cardio gave him a good boost. <laughs> it did. Well, he was a very talented athlete, of course. Yeah, and um, um, and Randy, yes. B Randy Bennett was uh, coaching for a portion of the time there, I think, before he went on to, uh, to other clubs. He went to, we moved to Ontario to Waterloo and Randy, uh, I think he coached in Edmonton for the Olympians for a while. Yes. And uh, then he went to, to um, Windsor okay, for the Windsor Aquatic Club and uh, 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 University of Victoria. That's right. And sadly passed away. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was 2015. Yeah, 2015, yeah. Yeah, it was sad. Uh, yeah, was a good really kid and, you know, had a young family and. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he coached, uh, oh, Jason Pratt had the misfortune to compete at the same time as Curtis Myden did. And Curtis Myden was always, you know, just a bit better than Jason. So I don't think Jason ever made an Olympic team. And of course, Curtis Myden has a very storied history. He was on the Olympic team uh, that Jen was on. And also, when Randy went to Windsor, he coached a young lady, uh, Jessica Deglau, who uh, was also on that Olympic team. Her and Jen were sort of competing butterflyers. Jessica is a physiotherapist here in town now, and Curtis Maiden is an orthopedic surgeon here. Oh, you're kidding? No. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, so they all... Uh, and, and many of Jen's friends in Toronto are um, swimmers from that Olympic team or swimmers that she knew along the way. And, uh, and she stays in touch with many of them today? She does. Uh, she still uh, swims in Masters and uh, coaches the, one of the Masters clubs there in yeah. Toronto. And so. Okay, wow. That's a so tell us a little bit about uh, the logo. We heard a little bit about uh, yesterday or earlier this week uh, that maybe you had some uh, some involvement in the logo redesign back in the day. Well, I, I think I, I would I wouldn't want to take any credit for that, but I think it was in the early days, 1980 or something. I, I'm not sure if that logo was there initially, but I thought it was redesigned. That's the story I remember about. Uh, either by Bevel Washko or her daughter or, or, or something. Yeah, it's still a classic uh, logo It today. is, yeah. It stands out uh, yeah, yeah. You know, really at all swim meets. Yes, uh, yeah. You know, you can still uh, recognize the FMSC yes. uh, club. I'm not sure how many people know it's a bucket wheel or even what a bucket <laughs> wheel is, but uh, those of us from Fort McMurray certainly don't. Certainly. Again, it's been really nice uh, chatting with you, Rick, and thank you very much for your time and some interesting stories from our from our past. So. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. So I just, I'll just reiterate again how much we enjoyed living in Fort McMurray and how much the swim club meant to our family and, and 
and uh, hopefully it continues on with that tradition. For sure, yeah. Wish For them the best of luck. And, uh, yeah. 45 years, yeah, thank you 45 very much. Years. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Good for you guys. Yeah, thank you.